Ken and welcome to a short segment to answer a simple question for you. Should the milk go in your tea first or last? Now, I don't take milk and a lot of people don't take milk, but a fair percentage of people do. So, some people don't care. Uh, other people have grown up on a culture of tea bags, which means you, know, you have to add the milk last or else your tea bag becomes even more important uh, than just the whole concept of using a tea bag. So, we're obviously talking about people of discernment and taste that have uh, decided to use loose leaf tea. And this here is a lovely Darjeeling. So, there's very vociferous uh, argument on this point. Uh, and in one camp, there's people such as my mother-in-law. And she believes that your milk should go in last. And uh, that's her point of view, and it's clearly wrong because what I'm telling you now is that the milk should go in first. Now here's why. When tea started to first rampage across Europe, people were drinking out of tea cups that looked a little bit like this. Okay, so this is 20th century Hungarian, or Czech, sorry, Czech, rather than 17th century French, but you get the point. It's a lovely, delicate little cup. And because the art of making tea cups was in its infancy, Often when tea was poured into them, they would crack. That was rather expensive. So someone developed the idea of putting a little bit of milk. And bear in mind the milk of those days would have been pretty well at room temperature. There was no refrigeration. And then by adding the tea afterwards, the cup doesn't crack. And I'd ask you to note that the cup didn't crack. Uh, you could argue that most tea these days isn't served in delicate cups, or indeed that delicate cups themselves are nowhere near as delicate as they used to be. But it's a fine old tradition. So whenever I make a cup of tea with milk, I tip the milk in first, with a bit of a nod to those people who were smart enough to not let poor quality crockery ruin their enjoyment of a good cup of tea. And if that means I have to disagree with my mother-in-law, then that's a cross I have to bear. See you next time.